Hey guys, welcome back. I'm divinely destined here. Welcome back to another video. Michael is asking me, um, how do they make mozzarella? Okay. You know, Michael, he has a Virgo moon, very inquisitive, intellectual individual. That happens to be my baby. Okay, guys. Happy Sunday. Happy Monday. If you are new here, if you're new here, wow, please take a minute. Like the video, share the video, leave me some comments. I'm picking up on Gemini energy here. Leave me some comments in the comment section. Yes, it will be an all signs general collective mess message read. Yeah, I got Alaska and Georgia. Let me know where you're from in the comments. Thanks once again for tuning in. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Okay, with the collective today. Happy birthday, Scorpio. Celebrating your birthdays tonight. Yeah, justice is overall energies for us. Mm. You may be winning a legal case, or you may have recently won a legal case, or just be prepared to win a legal case at some point, okay? Yes, this doesn't necessarily have to be like um, you suing someone, okay? This could be a favorable decision based upon some government assistance you've been looking to receive, okay? Something like that is here, okay? Favorable outcomes are certainly in the energies. Yeah, yes. I see the Queen of Pentacles, down to earth, reliable type of individual watching this particular message. That's that's healing here. Somebody wants to put you in a commercial, in a movie, on TV. Uh, you may, they may want you on a podcast, a sitcom, yeah, a comedy show, comedy tour, acting. All that is here. An entertainer is here. An influencer is here. Somebody in the public eye is here. Okay, or that may be something that you're called to do here. Okay, something that you're called to do. Uh, yeah, influential individual, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. This is like a soul's, a soul cleaning here, a cleansing. A soul's cleansing is taking place within the beautiful collective of divine masculines and divine feminines, okay? Yeah, I'm hearing I need a healing for my soul. So there's like a, a, a healing taking place on a soul level here. Yeah, make no mistake about it. I have the king of cups and the queen of pentacles. Yes, I see somebody that's uh, trustworthy here, okay? You got some knowledge, some wisdom? Yeah. Understanding type of individual here, very grounded. You got some damn common sense about you here. You may have the gift of prophecy. You may also have the ability to heal. Yeah, your grandfather was an alcoholic or your father here. Perhaps alcoholism runs in your family, okay? Something like that is here. I feel like there could be a male that could be uh, very, very important in uh, getting you some sort of information that could be related to a favorable decision going in your favor, okay, period. Perhaps this is your future husband here, okay, your future wife, your future spouse is here. Yes, I see the Eight of Cups and the Six, six of Pentacles, our Heavenly Father is here. The ancestors are here with the Hierophant, wow. So I see this favorable fa this this favorable decision that's gonna go in your favor being a kingdom spouse or a kingdom husband. That's what this is. That's what this is. This is part of it here. Yeah, that's what what's going on. Divine counterparts are both healing at this particular time here. Make no mistake about it. Period. I see the four of pentacles. God is saying, "Hold on, baby. It's gonna get better with the will of fortune. It's 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 going to get better." I see Libra energy here, Taurus energy, Gemini energy, Scorpio energy, Leo energy. It's going to get better. Hold on. Make no mistake about it. Yes, I feel like you know your divine counterpart or you have some experience with them or knowledge of them already. And if you haven't physically met them, just be prepared, okay? Be patient. You will. You will, honey. You may have a fear of change. You may be indecisive at this time. Yes. Mm, I see a lack of activity here. You're being called to get some rest here, okay? Anybody that has been opposing you um, are heavily restricted at this time. They can't see what you got coming in. They've been kicked out of your energy. They're not sp uh, spiritually able to spy on you, okay? Make no mistake about it. Yeah, mm, I see a divine empress here, divine empress. She's very fertile here. 
Yeah, you could be had you could be pregnant with a spirit baby at this particular time here. You could be a mother here. Divine Empress could be male. Okay, you could be a father as well. Divine feminine and divine masculine. Okay. They are parents here. They're meant to have a baby together. There's something that they're meant to do together as a uh, unit, as a unit. Perhaps they're meant to own uh, apartment complexes or uh, what do they call it? Rental properties? Yeah. They both got that healing love, okay? Healing love. Yes. It's something about um, your divine connection that's very, very important for, for your bloodline. For your divine counterpart's bloodline, divine feminine is not. Uh, she's she's very uh, skeptical, and you know, she may even fear taking anybody back from the past. If you know somebody was out to hunt you down like a dog to hurt you or annihilate you, common sense will tell you to stay away from that person. But just be on the lookout from you know, just be on be on the lookout for anybody that wants to come back from the past. Okay, yes. Don't turn your back on. Yeah, okay, this is what I'm getting. This this uh, divine counterpart is from a past life, okay? Yes. Don't let somebody that you had um, a bad experience turn your heart cold. Okay, I'm picking up on um, a few entertainers here. Yeah, I see the Page of Cups. Listen to your intuition. That's what the high priest is, is saying here. Listen to your intuition about this past life connection that you share with your divine counterpart. This is the person that has been with you in previous lifetimes, honey. It's just time for this thing to come together here, okay? Yes, I see misuse of intuition, acting out on bias or prejudice, manipulation, and a lack of emotional control. Yeah, you've had experiences with people like this, okay? This could be why you're fearful of possible commitment or fearful fearful overall in general you don't trust people because people that everybody that you ever trust uh stabbed you in the back perhaps or turned their back on you or did some shy, sh sh shady ass shit to you i'm picking up on whitney houston uh p diddy and lil bow wow okay these may be your favorite entertainers or they could be uh yeah that could that could resonate okay i see the three of pentacles and i see the three of wands you guys have been in partnerships before in previous lifetimes. You were married to this person, your divine counterpart in previous lifetimes. Okay? It seemed like every relationship or connection that you had this damn lifetime went bad. There were karmic lessons, okay? Karmic lessons, karmic soulmate lessons, past life soulmate karmic shit that you had to just work through, honey. Okay? It was just simply preparing you for the real deal, honey. Period. Your divine masculine likes baseball or basketball. He could be an athlete or he likes watching sports or your divine feminine. Okay, take the message how it resonates. I see the queen of wands here. I'm telling you, honey, I see an actress, an actor, an entertainer, or influencer here. Mm. Be careful with the offers that you get, too, in terms of um, career opportunities, money, opp money opportunities. Be, caref be careful here. Okay, you may have gotten hurt or, you know, it hurt you to have been disappointed by somebody that had a lot of promises that they couldn't keep for you in terms of your career. Okay, you've already been down that road. So listen to your intuition when it comes to that. I see the Page of Pentacles. You've been patient. You've been patient. And it's, it's, it's required for you to continue to be patient. Continue to be patient. You may be putting up a lot of damn walls. You may be, you may be doing a lot of shit to just to you know, distract yourself or to, um, you know, um, what is it called? To keep people away. Something like that is here. Okay. God already knows that. So just take it easy on yourself. I see the king of pentacles. You may need to have sex. You may need, you know, a release on the sexual level. Okay. You may not have had sex. You may not have been masturbating. Something like that is here. Okay. A lot of people pulling on your sacral energies caused you to pull back. Okay. Mm-hmm. That could be definitely having causing you to have some issues. Okay. Yeah. Take care of yourself, baby. Take care of yourself. And you do what you gotta do, honey. I see the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Your mother and father is here. Auntie uncle auntie uncle are here. Your relatives your relatives are here with the Ten of Swords. You seen your parents go through a lot of stuff growing up. Okay, 
Yeah, I see that here. I see the Queen of Swords. That that's an ancestor. There's a particular connection, okay, a caring connection that is coming together. Yes. You've been hurt. Your partner, your 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 divine counterpart, they've been hurt too. It's kind of like this ancestor wants you to know about each other. Okay, you got ancestors that could be connecting with your divine counterpart. Your divine counterpart could have ancestors that are connecting with you. Okay, it's something like that is going on. Your divine counterpart could be really, really protecting you right along with, with their ancestors. Watching out for you with the Page of Swords, period. There's something about the communication with the ancestors and this true love connection today, period. You don't have to hurt no more. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. The balance will be restored. It's on the way. It's on the way. You could get pregnant really quickly here with your divine counterpart. With your divine counterpart. I see the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Unexpected financial windfall is on the way. Big happy changes. Big opportunities. Seize the moment. Okay, arrival is here. Be direct. Be honest, okay? Yeah, a solid foundation. Prestige and privilege is here. This is what the ancestors have for you. Period. Period. Yeah, I see the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. <laughs> and the Two of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. It's like there's a connection that's coming together. Okay, really, really rapidly here. Okay, things are being worked out on a spiritual realm at this particular time. Regarding a Twin Flame connection. A soulmate connection. Okay, honey? Things are being worked out. There's a 24-year-old lady here. Okay? She wants to connect to her father. Okay? He's crossed over. Yeah. I see the lovers here. Dang. The Knight of Cups reverse. Yeah, you, you got some hesitation about this. You or your person, y'all got some hesitations and, you know, you wouldn't be wrong here. You've been in situations where the love was unrequited. Okay, you've been in situations where it was a lot of illusions. You know, a lot of lies, a lot of infidelity, a lot of half-ass love. You, you, you've been there, honey. You've been there, you've been there, you've been there. Yes. It's something that the ancestors and your divine counterpart, they're doing here. They're keeping... Um, Low vibrational people away from you. You know, they were doing, you know, the collective had enemies that was doing a lot of love spells. Okay. Yeah, that energy is here. They only helped the collective in that aspect because they kept a lot of low vibrational people away from us. Okay. But it's like the ancestors Arch and Archangel Michael, specifically the ancestors here. They're keeping an eye out for anybody that's trying to come in with some freaking illusions, okay? They're keeping these people away. They're, they are going to be alerting you to these people. I'm picking up on Lil Durk, okay? Lil Durk in India. Maybe your favorite celebrity couple. I'm picking up on a lot of inter entertainers. International. Internationally known. Wow, internationally known. There's something about a loan here. International loan. This seems like worldwide here. Yeah, you may be you may become worldwide known, okay, internationally known. Wow. Yes. With the page of wands, people are talking about you all over the world here. Or your person, okay? You could be high profile individual watching this message. Period. The ace of pentacles. Be careful of people just trying to date you because of uh money, wealth, stability, status, you know. Yeah, be careful of people trying to come back around and date you now that you've made it. That energy is here. They see that you will be making it. They want to come back in. I'm picking up on Will Smith. There's a lot of entertainers here. I see the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody thought that they were going to rush back in, date you, marry you, sleep with you, or do something to you to attach themselves to you to get your abundance or to be a part of your abundance. But the ancestors are all over that and Archangel Michael. They're all over this. Yeah, this is something you've been building here with the Seven of Pentacles. This is hard work that you put in. These are investments that you made. These are the sleepless nights that you had, okay? These are the tears that you shed because something didn't go right for you, okay? These are the days you got back up and kept going even though it looked horrible. 
okay this is for you honey yes this is for you okay people were doing all kind of spells on you trying to unalive you take your life take your destiny this is your income here okay this this is going to be a substantial financial increase okay financial increase i have the ten of pentacles the seven of pentacles the nine of pentacles the ace of pentacles and the nine of pentacles you have a spiritual inheritance people have been trying to unalive you for this people have been doing things in the spirit to block you from being abundant utilizing your own energy they have been trying to steal your damn spiritual eyes spiritual you know gifts abilities energy to be abundant here mm -hmm. i see the ten of cups the ten of cups wish fulfillment and family life is here there's a marriage that's destined to be here yeah new job opportunity as well yes i see someone that's independent here that made it and you know you didn't it's not like you didn't have help but for the most part you put you you put you put the days in you put the hours in okay you 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 laid the, you laid the foundation for your success so you should expect this beautiful bountiful harvest yeah good news is on the way be courageous stay stay optimistic honey people have been in the background competing competing against you secret competitions yeah jeez there were there were people that thought that they could be you better than you could be you okay yes there's a karmic masculine a karmic masculine that's an alcoholic okay under heavy illusions who painted a lot of illusions towards you you could just have this experience with masculines just overall in general here yeah with the seven of swords there's that's that sneaky person or those sneaky people i see five people here that got exposed by god and they're blocked today they don't deserve to sit at your table they were trying to take your damn table they were trying to kick you out kick you out of your table or to make you get up from your table or to hurt you so you wouldn't be able to sit at your table these people have been um they highly they wanted to highly compromise you they compromise you highly they may have even wanted to compromise your integrity or they tried to compromise your integrity, especially, especially spiritually. Mm-hmm. Yes. There's the end of conflict is here, baby. You should see a lighter, noticeable, you should see a lighter, noticeable difference in your energetic field. It's just facts. I don't even think you're heavily affected by your energetic field like, like you used to be because God has kicked these people out of your energies here. Okay. You're more tougher now. You got more tougher now. You're less bothered, you know? You're less bothered by, by stuff, you know? Yeah. Somebody was like at a, at, at a crossroads or they were indecisive about whether or not they should leave you alone, okay? It should never be nothing to think about. You know if, you got to, you know if you're out to hurt somebody or you got ill intentions towards someone, common sense should tell you to leave them alone, okay? Yeah, but obviously these people lack com common sense. Mm-hmm. Wow. Somebody, there's a karmic masculine that likes your body, divine feminine, period. I see the Ace of Cups. That's your energy. They've been kicked out of your energy. The Ace of Swords. <laughs> That's our Heavenly Father utilizing that big sword to cut these people out your energy. Those are the archangels cutting cords, cutting cords in the spirit for us. Cord, cords and attachments that we gave no consent to be a part of, period. Period, 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 period. I see a King of Wands reverse. He's known to be a cheater. The King of Wands reverse is a cheater, a liar, very devious, okay? Prejudice, perhaps. A liar or deceiver. This, this, yeah, he has a disease, possibly. Devious person. One whose main focus is self-promotion, okay? Yeah, so there was a highly, highly deceptive karmic, karmic masculine here that had his own objective objective okay you once again you probably had um a lot of experience i see a 36 year old here you probably had a lot of experience dealing with masculine energies uh that had their own their main focus was their own objective okay yes i see the nine of cups it just it just clarifies it for me Okay, they, it's what they wanted, their own desires. They didn't want to put in the work with you or they didn't put in the work with you to really show you that. They wanted 
uh, or they had your best interest at heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the King of Wands, reverse, is a cheater. Okay, the Great Pretender. Go listen to Fred Mercury, God rest his soul. He has a song called, I'm the Great Pretender. Okay, yes. That's a narcissist for you. Yeah. Really low quality individual that presents themselves as more superior than others based upon their financial status or what the, the public would perceive that they would have. Okay. The great pretender. It's a masculine energy with the ace of wands and a devil. He has an STD. The, the king of wands and a devil. The king of wands reversed the, the ace of wands. Uh, yeah. Some, something ain't clean with that wand. Could be bisexual, same sex, or uh, trisexual. You know, alternative lifestyle. Sexual addiction. Okay, yeah. I see the chariot. The chariot, the chariot next to the devil is somebody that drinks and drives. Next to the tower, this could be a, a DUI. Get pulled over by the cops, or it could end in a car crash. That's what the devil... The chariot and, and, and the tower represents. Wow. I spoke about it. This is the third time in less than two weeks. This motherfucker gonna get in a car crash trying to come to your house. This person wants some sort of victory that ain't gonna never come. It's never gonna come. This victory that this person is seeking with you is never gonna be. I see the four of wands. Look at this. The knight of wands. I have the knight of wands. Look at all that, that male phallic. The knight of wands. The ace of wands. The king of wands. That's a full-fledged sex addict next to the devil. This person has a disease. Very likely incurable. And I spoke about it a few nights ago that he has this incurable disease that he wants to give you very intentionally. This could be a female as well and masculine energy. He's just, he got something he can't get rid of with the hangman right here. <laughs> okay. Period. He may have sexual uh, defects and uh, what do they call that? Erectile, def erectile dysfunction, you know, shit like that. Can't get it up. Can't stay hard. Can't come. Sexual issues related. Yeah. That, that shit right there. Okay. All kind of stuff is going on with this karmic ass masculine. He can't come near you. The full reverse. I'm hearing his penis don't even work. Or, you know, he may be a drunk or a drug addict. Ugh. Violent, abusive, power hungry. He wants you totally uh, dependent upon him or she. They want you to they want you to go from being independent to codependent. Divine feminine is independent, self-made. Divine masculine is independent, self-made, period. They're not perfect, but they're doing their best in their community. Yeah, you got a chaotic, chaotic, destructive, low vibrational uh, king of wands. Oh, excuse me. That is continually, uh, continuous, continually and habitually uh, wants to see you be harmed. Okay, I see the five of pentacles. He wants to get in your house. You see the nine of wands? Why is he outside your house? Why is he in your community? Why is he in the neighborhood? Or why is she outside of your house? Or why is she in your community? Why is she in your neighborhood? Why are they even thinking about it? They got to be thinking about it or it would not come up in the energies. It's like an ongoing battle. This person is waging war with, 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 with God Almighty. Period. This person couldn't, couldn't get, okay, yeah, he wouldn't be able to handle uh, divine feminine in bed. That's what I'm hearing. I see judgment here. The six of wands, he's a four-fledged narcissist. The six, of wands, the six of wands and the moon, very, very deceptive and sneaky, highly venomous and toxic. It's kind of like somebody told this man, oh, you need to sleep with her. That's just the devil, honey. Because he knows if he even sleeps with you that he has a disease. Okay, he know he if he don't have a if he don't have a disease, <laughs> if he's not sexually infected with anything, he certainly has some uh, spiritual diseases. 
with the strength card being here that he can't get rid of. The devil, the moon, and the strength. Yeah, those, those are some some entities that have latched on that is not letting go. Or he needs to be cleansed from. I see the three of pentacles. He wants to be in a partnership with you. <laughs> okay, this could be your ex-husband, your ex-wife, your baby mama, your baby daddy. This could be your false flame. I don't know who they are, but they still want some sort of partnership. I feel like it's a sexual thing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He wants to compromise you. She wants to compromise you. She wants to compromise you, your health, sexually. I'm telling you. I spoke about it three nights ago, four nights ago. You see the five of swords reverse? Yes. Mm-mm. I'm telling you, be careful with this car that karmic ass man or that karmic woman here. That's 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 that you haven't seen in years, perhaps. Okay, they still thinking about you. Period. Wow. Wow. He could be in rehab. He may need rehab. She could be at rehab. Somebody somebody could be hiding this person. They could be a, a fugitive on the run today. People could be harboring a fugitive here with this person. They could be going uh, house to house for people to feed them or, you know, they could have a group of people that is, you know, housing them. Yeah, aid in the bed and the fug fugitive is here. Mm hmm He could pass away here. Yep, yeah, I see the Six of Swords reverse. He doesn't have a spiritual team. Period. The Six of Swords reverse. Hmm. He's, he, he's a troublemaker in the spirit. She's a troublemaker in the spirits. They are spiritual um, parasites, spiritual leeches, spiritual nuisances. Just, just trouble, honey. Oh, boy. He may have, um, it's kind of like, I'm picking up on a tarot reader. She spoke about it. This man will go as far as to divorce his wife to come marry you, Divine Feminine, or Divine Masculine. She may go as, to far, as far as to divorce her husband, to get back into a connection with you, or to start a relationship with you only to uh sabotage you that's how far this person is willing to go yep they could have just came out of a relationship and they got themselves right back into something or they went into something even worse than what they came out of they may have chose somebody over you thinking that that would be better and it was like going from the frying pan right into the fire here they're not making no progress here they're full of drama vengefulness they create a lot of illusions very deceptive uh, instability here. They lacking a conscience. <laughs> okay, this person doesn't have a conscience. Okay, I mean, I, 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 that's what I'm hearing. They don't. They or, or if they have a conscience, they just, I don't know. They may ignore. You know how we get all those. We get the signs. You know, we get those feelings inside of us that alert us to shit that we should not be doing. This person, he either doesn't get these things or he ignores it. Yep, yeah. or he just don't care. A narcissist just don't give a shit. He's in hot water with the spirit realm tonight. The seven of wands reverse. He has no spiritual protection. She has no spiritual protection. They may have even been trying to do spells to get your spiritual protection removed. We know that's not going to happen. We know that's not going to happen. God is never going to leave us. Remember that. Yeah. This person is willing to admit, admit they could be going to the hospital here at some point or drug rehab or a facility where they can get some sort of treatment this person could be on a downward spiral okay you know how that go they hit rock bottom here this person may even go so far as to show up and say hey i'm sorry you know having you feeling all vulnerable and you know it's okay it's okay you let your guard down and let this motherfucker back in yeah i see the three of cups this person is doing something here the three of cups reverse it's like he wants you to know that he dropped all his third parties. It's just you. He wants to be serious. She wants to be serious, divine masculine. She dropped all her third parties. There's no one else. Okay, this person may be trying to do some things in the background to try to make it appear like they've gotten rid of everybody. And even if they have gotten rid of everybody, congratulations, but it's a little too late here, okay? It, it, you, it, it's just not going to happen here, baby. It's not going to happen, okay? He could be definitely going through some um, mental illness. Could be going through an awakening here. Rejoining the world. Coming out of isolation. There's something going on with this person. 
perhaps you were the catalyst to their awakening. They had a life near death experience here that triggered their awakening or this experience uh, trying to sabotage and destroy a divine feminine or a divine masculine triggered their awakening here. This person is like, it's like they're trying to trip up the reading, you know? It's kind of like he wants you to know that he's turned over a new leaf. Okay, she's a better person. They want to work on, you know. It looks like they may have been uh, doing some work on themselves or something like that. That's what they want you to know or that's what, the, that's what the energy feels like, okay. And it's good to work on yourself. Now you do go out there and be a better person for, for, for humanity, okay, because... You're not gonna get this. You're not gonna get this divine feminine back. You're not gonna get this divine masculine back. Maybe you're the catalyst to help this person be a better, better person. Okay, divine feminine. Maybe, divine masculine. Maybe you're the one that got this person. Okay, you know how somebody that has scoliosis, you strain their ass out. Okay, maybe now they want to get right with God, or maybe now they want to at least attempt to do right by. By humans, this is a fallen angel. Tempers in reverse. Yeah, fallen angel. There's Archangel Michael. Michael got his soul somewhere. It's been there, okay? <laughs> the death reverse. This person is trying to avoid death. They're trying to avoid their karma here. Perhaps they did a lot of death magic on you, okay? They're trying to avoid the, the, the backfire, okay? Yeah, the inevitable end they're trying to avoid here. So this person is trying to make it appear like they're cleaning their life up here to avoid karma. See, it's always a reason what a narcissist. Okay. Yes. It's not because they genuinely feel bad for what they've done and they want to do better. It's because this person is trying to do something to avoid passing away or dying or being broke or being permanently altered or something like that. Mm -hmm. You can't fool God, baby. Yeah, he's still, he's still, he can't get over you, Divine Feminine. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know who this damn karmic masculine is, but Divine Feminine, he has been permanently altered. You were the earth angel God used to bring him down. That's, God brings his earth angels in to, to take care of these narcissistic assholes. He broke your heart at some point. Divine Masculine, she broke your heart. Yeah, you had a lot of love for them with the Two of Cups. Yes. You thought they were going to bring you a solid offer of commitment and marriage. Your false flame is here. This is a false flame. A karmic past life soulmate. Yes, you thought he was going to bring you the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. But what did he give you? He gave you conflict with the Five of Swords. Strife. Drama. Okay, that's what he did. That's what she did. Tried to sacrifice you, perhaps? This person may have been uh, trying to sacrifice you for a long ass time. Or they have been trying to do things. Or they have been doing things behind the scenes for a long time to sabotage your life. With the help of other people here. With the Three of Pentacles. Period. Yes. This person knew something about your divinity, your mission, your purpose in life. Yes. This person know you're a light worker. They know you're an earth angel. They know you're a star seed. And they know you're an indigo. They know you're a divine being. This person may have been jealous of your divinity. You know, they, they may be like a fallen angel. You stayed the course, divine feminine. You stayed the course, divine masculine. That don't mean you didn't get mad. You didn't have days where you just wanted to just pull your hair up, but you didn't give up. You know, you didn't just completely just say, you know what, I'm just going to go over here with the devil. This person did. So at some point, they turned their back on God. I don't know at, w at when they did that. It's never too late to make it right with the Father. The high priestess is here. The King of Wands, that go to King of Wands. He's in the up right here. This is a time when he was doing all the destructive things behind the scenes towards you. Still very heavily sexually based. That's what the high priestess is saying. This person may be very attractive, or they were, okay? You know, they may get a lot of attention. A lot of people gravitate towards the King of Wands, okay? The Queen of Wands. These people are naturally attractive, and people are naturally going to be drawn to that. He may have used his looks. She may have used her looks. Her sex, you know, the king of wands, he's known to be good in bed, okay? Perhaps they use sex and, and their looks to manipulate people. That didn't work with, that did not work with you. You know this man here with the six of cups. They're on the judgment tonight. I told you they're trying to clean some stuff up here to 
to appear to have changed or to this person is trying to run from death or run from their final judgment call that God has already ordered. They can't block it with the two of swords. This could be a female too that was doing a lot of heavy magic on the divine masculine. Okay. Refusing to stop with the four of pentacles. That's the ace of swords true. Period. Just refusing to stop. Mm. The page of wands is here. And the four of cups. There's a, there's a female here that is in a queen of wands energy who utilized the help of a queen of cups to do spells on a divine masculine, possibly even on a divine feminine here. A twin flame couple was attacked. You know that, okay? And if you don't know that, well, yes, honey, that happened here in the year 2022, 2021, 2023. Possibly the, la possibly the last seven years, you've been through a lot. Divine feminine, divine masculine, you've been through a lot. You see this you see this page of pentacles? Those are offerings. I see three witches here with the Queen of Swords. That's a practitioner. So a practitioner was paid here. Or one of these individuals, possibly all these people are skilled spiritualists or practitioners. They knew something about your fortune. Your destiny. Yeah. With the will of fortune being here. Somebody wanted your path. There's a there's a low vibrational queen of swords who wanted to be divine feminine. She wanted to be you. Yeah, she's been blocking you, Divine Feminine. Archangel Michael sent the magic back to her. She's blocked. She's throwing a fucking big-ass fit with the Ace of Cups because she can't have access to this energy of Divine Feminine no more with the Ace of Pentacles. Michael has evicted her at your energy. She's all in her head about this. Still behind the scenes and uh, in conflict. Possibly still doing spells on you today, Divine Feminine. Your copycat here. Okay. I feel like this copycat has a connection to a low vibrational karmic masculine here. They're working together. This could be a karmic couple here. This could also be a uh, this could also be a female karmic here that has a connection to your divine masculine. The tower here. They don't listen, so they got to learn the hard way. Yes, I see two people here that got a lot of time on their hands. They've been traveling here with the chariot. Mhm. Mm Perhaps there's a female karmic here that's scared, okay? She should be very, very scared. They're still uh, making offerings, still playing with demons, deities, entities, ancestors, Arishas, Arishas. They're still doing it. Very, very, very obvious here. Who they're targeting? A divine feminine. Mm. There go our heavenly father with the six of pentacles. He's aware of this. This is a karmic couple here. Yes, with the strength card. And the moon. Yes, he sees what they're doing behind the scenes today. There they go, the lovers. They go God with the sun card. He's fully aware of the magic that that couple has been doing on you. There's the ancestors, the Hierophant. Make no mistake about it. God is aware. The ancestors are fully aware of what our enemies have been up to. Perhaps this karmic masculine, this karmic masculine is gone. He left the karmic feminine. She's, she's really mad. She's still mad. She's still trying to sabotage or hurt you behind the scenes. Divine feminine don't even want that damn man. Okay. Divine masculine don't even want that karmic girl. He don't. These people are heathens, tyrants. Wow. I see the five of pentacles. <laughs> they were hoping to hear some news about you being broke or homeless or sick or unalived. But instead, it's them that's getting them that's getting the news. Okay. <laughs> I see the King of Cups and the Ten of Swords here, and the Nine. Yeah, this is somebody. This is Divine Masculine's ex-wife, baby mama, ex-love interest, false flame here that has been doing spells as well, possibly on Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. So, it's very weird here. Divine Feminine, you got hit on, you got hit on both ends. It looks, it, it looks like you had um, a false flame here that was working together with a lover, with a lover targeting you, doing spells. Not only that, but it looks like you have a divine masculine that has somebody uh, that may have been targeting you, doing spells on you too. If they do spells on him, they do spells on you. Divine feminine got hit on two ends here. It's possible divine masculine went through this as well with a false flame. Okay, she got together with her lover to attack him and you. Yeah, they wanted to end something for a divine, for a divine feminine here. Yes, <laughs> wow. 
I see the Eight of Cups. These people put all this work in only to be heartbroken and devastated. That's all they was going to get anyway. There's a man that's jealous of a divine masculine. Divine feminine, you have a karmic masculine that's jealous of your divine masculine and your union. He's been trying to block you from your divine masculine. There he goes. The energies don't lie. You see? Death spells were done here. Yes. Wow. There's a low vibrational man here that wanted to see you pass away. He would rather see you pass away, Divine Feminine, than to be with your Divine Counterpart or any love connection. Period. Yes. I see the Knight of Pentacles and the Emperor and Justice. Okay, slowly but surely, uh, things have been falling apart for a karmic masculine behind the scenes with the Justice being here. Yeah. He could have some issues with his uh, organs. I see the Temperance energy. Divine Feminine had a full-fledged narcissistic man on her ass. Divine Masculine had a full-fledged narcissistic woman on her ass. This narcissist is stressed out today. Uh-huh. Could be hiding. I keep picking up on the en energies of this Masculine being um, hiding or going to different locations to be doing spells, perhaps, or to be put up by other people, assisting and abating him. Yeah, he's on the move. This could be spiritually, too. He's a target in the spirit. There's nothing he could do in the spirit that would not be recognized. Yep, I see the two of wands. Still making plans to do spells on a divine feminine here today. Yep, they go the devil. The energies don't lie. They go that masculine with the ace of wands. I told you. And the knight of wands. He has an STD. He has spiritual diseases. Period. He's at a distance from you today. It's something he wants. Okay, it's something about his penis. He wants it for you, divine feminine. This karmic masculine could be at a distance from you today, okay? They could, be, they could be in another city, state, country. This could be just spiritually. Divine Feminine is light years ahead of this motherfucker. She's gone. Okay, period, period, period. It's never going to be. Let's go ahead and close it out. Let's go ahead and close it out. Close it out. Divine Feminine energy is here. She left this thing. She left that man behind. Divine Masculine left that woman behind. Okay? Yes, I see the High Priestess being here. Okay, so the high priestess says, let's just pay attention here. Closing out this message. That's what she's saying. Okay, the eight of wands is here. That's spell work. The strength card, they're still doing spells today. Or at the very least, they're still thinking about it. I feel like they could be traveling, doing uh, rituals, and, and meeting up with practitioners. They could be at, at, in a group setting here, learning and studying different spells. They could be mix, mixing potions. They could be utilizing eggs, fruits onions bell peppers to do their spells here justice is here and a ten of swords they could definitely get busted at home it could be a raid on all their houses all their properties yeah five people could get busted here pretty soon yeah with the justice energy here the six of the six of pentacles that's our heavenly father there's your ancestor okay they're not getting away with nothing period that's what it's about the ace of pentacles Yes, the devil was utilizing these individuals to get to you because you have an ace of pentacles, you have an ace of cups, you have a ten, ten of pentacles. Okay, you have a spiritual inheritance that our heavenly father, who is the emperor, by the way, God has his spiritual inheritance for you, period. I see the page of wands. This is spiritual stalking. These people are still trying to get in your energy, or these people are still trying to do things to cause you to be spiritually blocked spiritually hindered, hurt, delayed, missed opportunities. Still making offerings, working with deities here. Once again, I see the four of cups. They got too much time on their hands. These are practitioners here that are being paid. These people could be traveling here with this three of pentacles. Yeah, it's a specific location or different locations that they frequent to do spells, to do rituals, to get spell work, to get the stuff, the materials to make the spells, to meet up with the people to do the rituals with. All that is here. The offerings. There's there's a specific okay. There's a queen of coins who's a practitioner. This karmic masculine, karmic masculine is working with this woman. This could be his lover here that it, both of these people are attacking you. This could be a, a, a another individual involved with assisting these people here. They're meeting up with this practitioner here. Okay, I see the nine of pentacles. Woo! Wow. Divine Masculine got some people from his past. Um, 
that have been targeting him. Okay? I see the Two of Pentacles, the star card. Somebody doesn't want you to be a celebrity, an influencer, an entertainer, a singer, a musician, um, inf influential, influencer once again, high profile. They don't want you to sit... They don't want you to sit amongst royalty. They don't want you to sit at the high table in, 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 in the midst of prestigious people. Um, they don't want you to be honored. Or um, they don't want you to get recognized and rewards. They don't want you to get your accolades. You know, how, you know how you go to the award ceremonies? They don't want you to walk the red carpet. They don't want you to be in the venue to receive your award. They don't want you to be on national TV. There's a celebrity here. There's an influencer here. There's somebody that's meant to be really, really famous here. Yeah, they may have been going in the spirit to lock up your gifts. Especially, you know, you could sing. You know, you could sing, honey. They don't went in the spirit and did something to lock that up. Okay? You haven't been singing good. Your voice hasn't been good. They've done, they've done things in the spirit to alter that. It's your face, too. It's your face. And it's divine feminine. It's, um, it's her, her dairy air. Okay? Her, her backside. Okay? A karmic masculine is infatuated in the most disgusting way. With, with with that part of your body. Yeah. Perhaps this person had a dream of being a star or an entertainer or a celebrity here. Perhaps they are. And they're jealous of the upcoming artists who could potentially pass them and be better than them. So this is like a rivalry or a competition. This could be a competition in which you have not entered. You did not enter this competition. Somebody saw you as competition here. Somebody seen you. This could be somebody in the industry. They see you as a threat to their stability. It's enough money out here for everybody. It's enough money out here for everybody. Somebody wants to bury you, your gifts, so that you're not seen in the world, so that you're not able to perform. I'm seeing a singer, um, an actress, somebody that could potentially be in commercials. Somebody wants no one to view you, to see you to recognize you. I see the five of swords. They're very sneaky. This is a man doing this to a woman. Yep, the five of swords and the seven of swords. This person has been fighting you behind the scenes, competing with you, trying to, this person has been trying to bury a star here. You're meant to be famous. They've been trying to bury a star. They want you to feel worthless, useless, like, uninspired, unmotivated. They want you to feel like what they really feel, being seated next to you. Being next to you, they feel invisible. This person sees you as better than them. That's not divine feminine's fault. That's not divine masculine's fault. It's not. This could be a feminine copycat of divine feminine's too. There's Michael. Archangel Michael has to show up because these people have literally been trying to take the life of a star here. The Five of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Knight of Swords, that's a malicious, cold-blooded assassin. Or, at the very least, they have a destructive thought process when it comes to you. And they say some mean, malicious, hurtful, evil things on your name. They didn't want you to get the Ten of Pentacles or the Ace of Pentacles. This person forfeited whatever blessings they may have had by targeting you. Earth angel. There's an earth angel that's meant to be a celebrity here. Entertainer, influencer, influence. You're meant to be seen. God wants you to be seen. He wants you to be seen. It's crazy how these people want to take everything away from you, but they've never contributed a dime to you. A dime. This person is an Aquarius. They're an Aquarius. I'm hearing shorty is a dime, 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 dime. You're supposed to be singing here, okay? You may, you may be meant to be um, seated at the table next to royalty or celebrities. There's an earth angel that's meant to be a star here, okay? That's your calling. Yep. Somebody knew this. Somebody knew this. I see the eight of pentacles. Mm. Somebody was offered an opportunity to become uh, famous or more wealthy by sacrificing you. I see the eight of pentacles here. The nine of pentacles. They've been working hard to slow you down. The five of pentacles. They wanted you to be broke and broken so that you wouldn't shine. 
They don't understand. You had your broke days. You had your broken days. You still showed up. These these people these people can't show up on their broke days or their broken days. You show up. Wow. This person may have had people watching you. I see the Eight of Swords. It was something they were doing in the spirit here to keep you, your gifts locked up. Or buried. Make no mistake about it. Our Angel Michael has this person's soul or spirit or something. It's in one of those dark places that the bad spirit spirited motherfuckers go or that could potentially be where they end up yep i see the king of swords and the knight of swords that's archangel michael period your family is your bloodline has been protected by archangel michael period this is you with the chariot arriving to an event and michael is with you period look at that couple there they go they stressed out. This could be um, federal investigation, or these people could be on uh, investigation, or they could be watched by cops. Mm hmm. They could be already in jail. We know they're in spiritual jail, or they've. Something like that is going on. They have been. I see the Three of Wands and the Two. Mm hmm. The Two of Wands. Yeah, they're going to jail. You know that. They manifested that for themselves. They could be in jail today. They are definitely in spiritual jail. Yeah, you, you have emotionally healed from this connection. You, you thought this was your twin flame. You thought this was someone you can trust. You thought this was someone that had your best interest at heart, huh? Or at the very least, you had a lot of care for them. You had some, you had some, you had some, it's, it's kind of like Julia Roberts, you know, sleeping with the enemy. God protected you from this person. God, God protected you from those individuals because these people went far here. They did not want you to get on TV. Dang. Yeah, they didn't want your songs, your songs to be heard on the radio. They didn't want your restaurant to open. They didn't want you to get no book deal. Yeah. You know how the celebrity sign the books? Yeah. They didn't want you to have like a celebrity autograph signing or something like that. Yeah. I see the world card here. You're supposed to be seen in the world by a lot of people here. A lot of people are supposed to be talking about how gifted you are, how talent, talented you are. And a lot of people are talking about how gift, gifted you are and how talented you are. Yes, how loving you are. The Queen of Cups is here twice. Wow, these people are heavy occultists. They have a heavy, 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 heavy involvement in the occult. Yeah, these are war witches, warlocks, practitioners. Wizards, yeah, they underestimated this beautiful Queen of Cups. They underestimated her willpower, her creative visualization, visual, visualization powers. Okay, they underestimated her manifesting abilities. They underestimated the fact that she has God. They underestimated divine masculine as well. Period. So, you could be like an up and coming. Celebrity, entertainer, influencer that they wanted they wanted to sacrifice before you could make it in life. The Knight of Wands and the Tower. That's the STD. You remember earlier, he was the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands. There he go again. The King of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Tower. He wants to give you a disease that you can't get rid of with the Seven of Wands. He's under judgment. And I'm speaking about a low vibrational man here a karmic masculine god has placed him under judgment the ten of wands that disease that std or that spiritual disease is eating him alive i see the two of cups the ace of swords truth he could be bisexual it's, it's an alternative lifestyle here sexual um trauma perhaps from a childhood that he never healed she never healed possible yeah i see the nine of wands <laughs> look at his Look at this motherfucker having to humble himself and go to the clinic uh, or go to the hospital and get treatment. Look, he may not. It may, he may end up not making it in time with the death card. He may be too prideful here. These are the people you have to watch because they have HIV. They don't want to know their status. They know their status, but they don't care that they have it. And they're still willing to sleep with people to infect them with the death energy being here. And the nine of cups, this is what he want to do. He know he need to go get help or treatment or he knows he needs to be 
letting people know his status. She knows that she shouldn't be uh, willfully participating in sexual activities without the use of protection or willfully, uh, maliciously, premeditatedly trying to inflict a STD, incurable disease, upon another human being. Period. Not saying that they have these STDs. It's in the energies. Okay? Once again, this could be spiritual diseases that they can't get rid of. Okay, they conjured so many damn little nasty boogers up to attack you, huh? Now they've come home to get them. I see the fool, the five of cups. He has tainted semen. It's tainted. The four of wands. I feel this is a clinic, a hospital, a, a medical facility. He's crying. He's in his feelings. He's in his emotions. Emotions. He's waiting for the diagnosis or he knows the diagnosis and he feels a certain type of way about it. His money cannot get him out of this with the two of swords and the king of pentacles. That's what the moon energy is letting me know. He has to offer up his urine. There's that wand again. The ace of wands. The energies don't lie. He has to, you know, get treatment. It's best to just get your treatment and sit down somewhere. Sit down somewhere. This motherfucker got some bad ideas about inflicting this thing on, on other people here. Wow. Yes. This person or those, th this person here, okay, male or female, they saw divine feminine as competition here. Yes. This person would rather see divine feminine uh, pass away from an incurable disease than to see her in a happy, loving, committed relationship. Yeah. This person did not express how they felt for you or, you know, it just didn't work out with you and this person. You guys are divorced here, period. They want you to uh, divorce your divine counterpart or they possibly have been trying to do things in the spirit to block this connection and this contract. Yes, period. Look, I choose you in decision. Divine Feminine, don't trust it. He needs healing here. I told you, he's burdened by some STDs that he can't get rid of or some S spiritual transmitted diseases that he can't get rid of or she. Look at the silent moves he's making, period. The, the divine said enough is enough. Divine said enough is enough. Period. God may expose this person here and may come out in a criminal investigation. You may hear about this person being being arrested for intentionally and willfully inflicting and infecting others with HIV or an incurable disease. There's something he doesn't want to get out. He's mad. Definitely has some control issues here. Yes. Practice forgiveness, divine beings. Forgive your enemies. This person, they need to practice forgiveness too. God is saying it's your choice whether or not you want to forgive them, but you should, okay? It looks like his immune system is shutting down. I told you something about the organs here. Yep, mm -hmm. this person need to focus on themselves and their health. They still could be watching you online today. I told you it was something about Divine Feminine's backside. Look, her, her ass is something about it. Okay, look, true love, true love. He has an infatuation with you that may go to, he may take it to his grave, Divine Feminine here. Yeah, he's full of drama. And I'm speaking about a low vibrational, uh, you know, your, your karmic masculine here. Look, he wants one last chance. But what is he going to do with that one last chance? He's going to inflict something on you that you can't get rid of. Period. He's going to make life difficult if you decide to give him a chance or she. They're going to lay it on pretty thick, I'm trying to tell you. There's always going to be somebody else in the background here. They're a narcissist. But he's going to tell you that he's eliminated all those people. I told you he looked like he was trying to clean up some stuff in his life here. Yep. He's at his breaking point here. He's feeling helpless here. It's something that he needs from you. He needs a sacrifice. That's what he needs. He's been trying to sacrifice a divine feminine. He's not for you. Not for you. He's not for you. Period. I see divine timing and trust your intuition. Something, something could certainly come out about this person in the future here. He hasn't changed. She hasn't changed. Divine masculine. She ain't changed. There's something better, okay, that's worth waiting for. And you've been patient here. Yes. God utilized his earth angel to bring down a supreme narcissist here. Period. You see this dying love? That's HIV AIDS. That could take him to the grave. Yes. This person has a secret jealous side when it comes to you. How could you marry a man or be with a woman that's secretly jealous and envious of you? They would try to sabotage you every, every chance they got. He saw you as competition or something like that. I see family here. Yes, he would definitely get you pregnant. 
Okay, look, he's strategizing. The energy's gonna lie. Period. Mm -mm. He wants, it's kind of like he wants you to know that he's changed his ways or she's changed her ways. That's what he wants you to think. Yeah. But we see that's not true. We got don't force it. He's got rejected lately. People are rejecting him. Period. He could be single here, doing a lot of masturbation. Mm-hmm. A lot of people let them go here. Divine Feminine moved on. You're the one that got away here. You're the one that got away, Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine moved on. Divine Feminine moved on. What, what is the karmics doing? They're partying. They were partying. They wasted a lot of time trying to destroy you. They spent a lot of time in frivolous affairs in which they could have potentially caught an incurable disease. Okay? Nothing compares to Divine Feminine. He can't stop thinking about you. She can't stop thinking about you. This person is telling themselves not to lose hope, but they need to move on. This person is in denial about the fact that you don't want them, or there's no chance here. They have this narcissistic need to win here. They're very foolish here with the full energy being here. You know he's stalking you. You know she's stalking you, or they've been known to be stalking you. Mm-hmm. Yes, divine masculine is unfazed here. He's moved on, period. He's putting himself first, okay? He's focusing on himself here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Meanwhile, he has a karmic feminine here. Karmic feminine that's behind the scenes acting like she really don't know what's going on. But she know, she know, she know. She know what she's been doing to sabotage this divine masculine behind the scenes. Period. She's been drinking and doing things to uh, cover up the fact that she's a soulless asshole who can't move on from a divine masculine. She's been doing self-pleasure here, masturbating, sex magic, potentially to get him back. Mm-hmm. Divine masculine. The universe said make them prove it. She's only pretending here. Yep. Mm-hmm. She may have slept with one of divine masculine friends. She could be talking to one of his friends or a few of his relatives, possibly to get him back or sleeping with him. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the new love. Ooh. Divine Masculine, don't tell me her new lover is one of your relatives or friends. Divine Masculine, what's going on? One of her new lovers is your friend or your family member, or she's been sleeping with Divine Masculine friends and family members. He couldn't understand her. Divine Masculine, he knew it was up. She may have been giving you a hard time because she was cheating. She was cheating here. She wasn't faithful here. Look, we got reconciliation. She wants you back. She may have a few men that are fighting for her, doing spells with her. She's a very dangerous individual. She's pushing divine masculine button here. Buttons. Yeah, she's haunted here. She, she wants him to be haunted. She thinks she's some sort of fucking prize here. Excuse the language. Divine masculine learned his lesson. I told you she thinks she's a prize. Look at this arrogance energy. Very arrogant energy. Mm-hmm. She gossiping about him to other men here to potentially hurt him. Period. Look at these men that are undecided about whether or not they want to do spells on him or to hurt him because of her lying ass. Divine Masculine may be undecided about, about whether or not he want to date again or to be close with someone again. Our Heavenly Father is saying, take it slow, Divine Masculine. Okay, pay attention to your phone calls, Divine Masculine here. She could have one of her lover boys here that may try to call you or intimidate you or do some stupid shit. Yeah, she's dating somebody. She got multiple lovers here. Look, look at all these flings. Dating flings? Friends? Divine Masculine. Ugh, she nasty. Wow, she's doing a lot of things behind closed doors here. Yeah, she has a need for control here. She utilizes sex. She's a female narcissist that utilizes sex to get what she wants, to get these men to do what she wants. Look at these men. Look at all these men that she done broke down here. They all in their feelings. Look at all these men coming up in her energy. Look how she got them, Divine Masculine. She want one. She want one of these men to apologize. Meantime, she's telling another one that it's only him. In the meantime, she's trying to do things in the background to sabotage you. I see three guys here. Could be more. Wow. Divine Masculine is working. <laughs> She's desperately working on a plan here, excuse me, to stop a divine union. Divine masculine was a good man, and God spared this man from this uh, narcissistic female here. She's arrogant 
beyond belief. She's just waiting for this masculine to come back. She definitely has a plan to get him back. Even if that means hurting or unaliving his divine feminine. Or him. She's a bully. She's a sociopathic, uh, grandiose narcissist. She's up at night talking to these guys. I see four, five, six of them. I don't know how many. She cannot be trusted, divine masculine. The energies don't lie. She's living a double life. Okay? Capricorn woman here. This woman has Capricorn in her chart. Capricorn, for sure. Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Leo in her chart. I know you ain't been worried about her divine masculine. And if you have it, it, it probably is because of the spell work or the manipulation. Not the right time. Epiphany. Something has been telling divine masculine, don't call her. Don't go back. Leave it alone. Listen to that divine masculine. Listen to that. He may have been all in his head over her. This is what she does. How many men are all in their head over her tonight? If you go back to her, you're going to regret it. He may have some regrets about walking away. That was the best decision you could have made. Saved your life, divine masculine. You saved your life. That's a grandiosis narcissist, narcissist who's very deceptive and highly, highly toxic and a cheater. Divine masculine, it's always advisable, divine feminine, to get tested. Get tested. Because these people are, these people are, they lack a moral conscience or a moral code here. They don't have a conscience. These people are, she's utilizing this karmic girl. Karmic girl is utilizing her lovers to attack divine masculine. Can you imagine how many men get hurt every day because a, a woman lies? She lies to get a man to do dirty work for her. Mm-hmm. I'm constantly battling myself about this relationship. And look, I'm all in my head. Divine masculine got some regrets about this connection with this karmic, with the karmic. I'm constantly battling myself about this relationship. I regret walking away. I wish I would have known Divine Masculine. The best thing you could have done was walk away. You may be having a lot of regrets about it, but it was for the best. God spared your life. He spared your life. She's a sexual deviant or she's a, um, you know, narcissistic women. They could be highly dangerous. Take it off and bear it all. She, she breaks these men down or makes them feel vulnerable or something she's doing here, okay? To get these men to be vulnerable with her and to get her way with them. I will always forgive the mistakes you made. Divine Masculine, how many times have you forgiven her? How many times have you forgiven her? How many, how many other guys have forgiven her? And they got this disease that they can't get rid of now. Or they're in jail. Because they've done something listening to that narcissistic karmic karmic girl. The best lover I ever had. Okay? You see her energy? It's about the sex. I've replayed our conversations time and time again. I'm sorry for all, always holding you back. She knows how to manipulate men. She's a man eater. Out of all the women I've dated or desired, no one compares to you. This is what he's feeling about this karmic, or this is what he's felt about her. Okay? I know when you're upset with me, and it bothers me more than you could possibly know. She was totally manipulating this masculine. She manipulates men. Please don't give yourself to anyone else. I can feel you, and it tears me apart, even knowing it's a possibility I could lose you forever. Yes, yeah, she's been giving herself to other lovers. She's a cheater. Let's take a ride and explore each other's body. This narcissistic girl right here, she turns men out uh, sexually here to get her way. She use her body. Okay? You're the destination I seek, my reason to grow. Divine Masculine may have genuinely loved this girl here. Sometimes I just don't know how to reply or express what's inside of me. He was, really feeling, he was really feeling all this for a sociopathic lunatic narcissist who had him under full control or manipulation. He didn't know what to do or how to respond or how to reply. 
he tried to change someone that change. He tried to change someone, or he wanted someone to change that was not going to change. Let's see what's going on with this karmic masculine, and then I'm going to go ahead and close it out. What does he want to say? I am truly in love with every piece of you. I told you he loves Divine Feminine's body, specifically her ass, her assets. I feel selfish not giving you the time, the energy, and the attention you crave. That's what a narcissistic karmic masculine has got to say for you tonight, Divine Feminine. Making love to you is unlike anything I've ever experienced. Look, you make my body react in such a magnetic way. It's something about the way divine masculine and divine feminine sex is their sex. Okay. I will always love you no matter what happens. You see what I'm saying? He wants to make love to you, divine feminine. Okay. And if, if you have had sex with this karmic masculine, trust and believe. He wants some more of it. Okay. Ooh. Be a good little girl and please your man. He wants you to dominate him. Divine feminine. This is a karmic masculine here. Wow. The fact that you even gave him the time of the day is shocking to him. Okay. This connection has definitely been divinely guided. He feels like you're his person. Divine feminine. I see so many signs and synchronicity since I met you. He's gone through an awakening here. Or something has been altered or changed for this karmic masculine. But I wouldn't trust his ass. He's devious. And he's done things behind the scenes to hurt you. Heavy, heavy oppression upon you to get you to um, bend to bend to his will. The reason I come and go is because I just can't stay away. But I'm not ready to give you all you deserve. He wanted, he wanted you. He wanted, and he wanted, he wanted his cake, and he wanted it. He wanted others too. Divine feminine. The reason I come and go is because I just can't stay away. It's something about divine feminine that has permanently altered a karmic masculine something has permanently she's permanently altered him he's constantly seeing signs about you those are delusions that could also be god warning him to stay away or this could be god saying hey look at this girl you keep trying to hurt you keep trying to take away from the earth look at look i'm gonna keep showing you signs of her until you leave it leave her alone or get it to your head that she's chosen by me to fulfill a mission on the earth and you need to move on I've checked on you to see if you were with somebody else. You could have anyone you want. This is what your karmic masculine is saying. We have a special connection, my love. We've done this before. This is a past life karmic soulmate. Karmic soulmate. He keeps telling you he run. Look, I run because I'm just no good right now. He says, I run because I'm no good. I've checked to see if you're with other people. He's constantly seeing signs of you, divine feminine. He come and go because he can't stay because he's a dog. He knows he's not good. And he knows that he would just ruin you. But God keeps showing him signs of you because God wants this man to back off and move on. And also to see who he hurt. He chose to hurt God's daughter. The connection has definitely uh, altered his life. And I'm not going to say that it was for the better. He's got to pay for what he's done to you. The fact that you even noticed his ass was mind-blowing. It was something about the way uh, you had sex with him or the way you hypnotized him or the way you looked at him. Maybe it's your ass your assets because he's heavily sexually based just like the karmic feminine here i don't know he may have even married someone else that looked like you would have had a similar body structure or a body type like you yeah no one else can tame him be a good girl and please your man yeah may maybe he's never had nobody submissive and 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 you know somebody that was willing to uh treat him like a woman okay it's something about divine feminine that's addictive. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close it out. He keeps rereading your messages. If there, if you guys have ever talked or text, okay, he's still keeping, um, he keep looking at those messages. He says he's coming back. He's trying to change his life to come back. But I feel like he's just trying to clean some shit up. That's the delusional part of his brain that thinks he still has a chance. I'm in denial about my intimacy issues, fears. You see what I'm saying? Straight delusion. <laughs> Yes. I want to run my hands all over your soft skin and through your hair, Divine Feminine. I know we have a connection unlike any other. Sometimes I try to deny it. He ran from your connection and he ran out of time. Yeah, I'm addicted to your body. That's what I'm saying. Your mind and your soul. It's something about you, Divine Feminine, that hooked this man. He could, he, 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 and that's that. 
You turn him on in unexpected ways and in unexpected times. He wants you right now. Where are you? Uh, Divine Feminine is in a secret location. She was she at. And you need to stay the hell away from her. You triggered my spiritual awakening. I'm telling you. Pleasure takes on a whole new meaning with you. You dominated this man. It's, I spoke about this. It's kind of like that mothering aspect to you, Divine Feminine. Or that loving aspect to you that he clearly has not had. Or clearly no one has been able to have this type of uh, loving effect on him the way you do. He says, I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. Please help me figure this out. Go get counseling. Leave Divine Feminine alone. Okay, he's been sending songs to you. When we connect sexually, he's been doing a lot of sex magic. The sexual connection that he feels with you is so intense, he runs. So, yeah, that is that. He can't handle it. He, he's not meant for him. It's meant for him to go on. Okay? You've already shown Divine Feminine that... Um, it just didn't work out. Get yourself ready for me. I'm coming. You see this? Yeah, get yourself ready to call the cops, Divine Feminine, and, and keep all records of any interactions with him. I really miss you. That's what he's saying. I love your spirit. You shine like the star. You see what I'm saying? He loved your spirit. No, he was jealous of that. Okay? He tried to ruin you so you wouldn't be a star. But you're meant to be. If you guys want to book me, I'm available. Have a great night.